What we're going to perform right now is ANSI ESD S7.1, which is a surface test across two points. We're going to use a megometer, uh, which uh, has a test voltage of either one, uh, 10 volts or 100 volts, two five-pound weights, and we'll set them three feet apart on the test specimen, and we'll test the voltage across those two points and record the values. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to ensure that the uh, test weights are three feet apart. As you can see right here, we have a pre-measured instrument for that. So the test weights are on the floor, three feet apart. Place the positive lead and the negative lead into the weight. We charge the megometer. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure the resistance, electrical current resistance, across these two points. This unit is an auto-select which means that it will automatically determine whether the resistance range of the floor is below a million or above a million. Below a million, it will use 10 volts as a test voltage. Above a million, it will use 100 volts. Waiting for the unit to charge and equalize. And I perform the test. We apply the test voltage. And this floor tests out with a resistance of 4.9 times 10 to the 6, or 4,900,000 ohms resistance across these two points, three feet apart. The test voltage being used is 100 volts. The second part of this test is a ground point on the floor surface to ground. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the three foot measuring gauge cable and we're going to unplug the negative lead to one of the five pound weights, place the positive lead and five pound weight in the middle center of the floor. This is a special grounding plug. Uh, it's a null plug. It uh, does not have any current on the two normal 110 leads and only thing that is uh, effective is the ground itself. So it's safe to plug that in. Since I need an extension to uh, connect to the floor sample, what I'll do is I'll plug a green ground wire in and then engage it into the wall socket. Both lights should light up on the outside and no light in the center, which would indicate that the ground is safe. Now what we're going to do is we're going to perform the second part of the test, which is a groundable point on the floor to ground and run the test voltage uh, through the meter, through the floor, and back to ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the three-foot measuring cable, and we're going to disconnect the negative lead from the five-pound weight. We'll move the positive lead to an accessible point on the floor, and we'll apply the second negative lead to ground, known ground. And we'll again apply the test voltage to see what the resistance is between the floor to ground, to a groundable point. We're going to apply the test voltage. It's 100 volts, and the results are 4.2 times 10 to the 6th, or 4,200,000 ohms, from this 5-pound weight through the floor to ground resistance.